The Real Truth About Gout Gout Inflammation Gout is an inflammatory disease. When inflammation occurs anywhere in your body, it occurs, because something is irritating, burning, or damaging your body's structure. Gout is an inflammation of various bone joints, and is considered a form of arthritis. This inflammation occurs when monosodium urate monohydrate crystals deposit or precipitate in your joints or the joint synovial fluid. When these crystals form, they contain sharp points, which tear or cut into cartilage, bone ligaments and tissue, causing great pain and discomfort. These crystals can also deposit in major organs, causing major damage. For this reason, it's important to take action on this disease to eliminate it and stop its return. Gout pain often comes at night, when you are deep asleep. The sharp pains appear in your toes, joints, or calves. Any movement of your legs increases the pain. The pain can be unbearable at times. Gout pain may last for days, or even weeks, and the time between attacks can be weeks or years. Pseudogout There is pseudogout that mimics gout conditions, but this occurs when calcium pyrophosphate crystals collect in various joints, causing pain and inflammation, like in a typical gout condition. Pseudogout is not caused by high uric acid levels, but is an imbalance of minerals that keeps calcium out of the solution. When you don't have enough mineral sodium in your body, calcium will precipitate into crystals, called bone spurs. This condition will also be eliminated with the information in this course. What causes urate crystals to form? Urate crystals form when you have an imbalance in your acid alkaline levels. When you have an excess of acid in your body, uric acid will tend to precipitate and form crystals. So, if you have an alkaline body, you will not have gout. If you have an acid body, your chances of having gout are higher. To get rid of gout, you will find, in later videos, many ways to make your body more alkaline. Purine is uric acid. Gout also occurs when an excess of meat or other food containing a high level of purines is eaten. So, what are purines? Purines occur in all foods and plants. They help to form the chemical structure of genes. When you eat food, the genes in this food are broken down during digestion and purine is released. This purine is now uric acid. It remains in the blood, dissolved, and becomes harmless. When your old cells die, and decompose, purine is released into your blood. This is another source of uric acid. Typically, 70% of the urate produced daily is eliminated by your kidneys and urine. The other 30% is routed to your liver, and moved into your gallbladder, and your colon, where it is removed through your stools. When too much purine food is eaten, and uric acid is produced, hyperuricemia, by your body, your body has to figure out how to get rid of it. Too much uric acid can also remain in your body, if your kidneys are not functioning properly. Your kidneys will not remove the 70%. If your liver doesn't remove the 30%, it is required. Excess uric acid can remain in your blood. The Insulin Factor when an excess of insulin is formed by eating an excess of carbohydrates, or when your cells become insulin resistant, an excess of urate can be created, leading to a buildup of uric acid in your blood. If you are obese, have type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, or have kidney disease, you are more susceptible to increases in uric acid levels. The Forming of Urate Crystals Gout is formed when the urate concentration in your blood becomes supersaturated and precipitates, forming monosodium urate crystals in various joints and sometimes in tissue. When crystals form within joints, they can come loose and redeposit in synovial sacs and cause chronic inflammatory arthritis. Kidney stones can also develop from excess urate when the urate precipitates within the kidney. Specific research has uncovered that certain variant genes are associated with the kidneys, reduced ability to excrete uric acid. Other gout causes. In some cases, gout is caused by heredity, eating habits, 
and environmental exposures. Gout or increases in blood uric acid can also be caused by excess molybdenum. If you work in milling, paints, mining, lubricants, fertilizers, or armor plating, these jobs or areas are high in molybdenum. Gout attacks. Gout attacks occur for a short time, but are quite painful when they occur. In some cases, a gout attack can happen on occasion or frequently. When gout attacks occur frequently or take some time to disappear, these attacks can weaken, deform, or destroy your joints. How does uric acid build up in your blood? In normal people, the amount of uric acid created from daily eating, body exercise, or cell activities is expelled from the body, and no gout is ever experienced. However, in some people, uric acid is created by the breakdown of old cells and is not removed fast enough by the kidneys. The uric acid then builds up in their blood. Their kidneys do not eliminate enough uric acid, and their uric blood level rises. They overexercise, causing an excess of uric acid to build up in their blood. They become dehydrated by not drinking plenty of water during the day or during strenuous exercise. Less liquid in your body cause uric acid to rise. More frequent urination reduces the uric acid in your blood. They become ill or come down with more infections than normal, causing more uric acid in their blood. They have hypothyroidism, leukemia, psoriasis, or lymphoma. They injured a joint, creating a weak point where uric acid crystals can easily deposit. They start to lose weight too fast, using various diet programs, which interrupt the excretion of uric acid through urine. Their overweight condition can lead to an increased chance of a gout attack. Extra pounds cause the body to produce more uric acid and also block the excretion of this uric acid from the body. They have excess stress or are extra nervous, which cause uric acid to rise in the blood. They drink up to a dozen cans of beer or two and a half liters. Alcohol slows down the excretion of uric acid in the kidneys. They drink an excess of sodas, which contain sugar or fructose, and this causes uric acid. They have a previous joint injury. They use recreational drugs or medical drugs for other diseases. They have a tumor. They have lead poisoning. They have a digestive enzyme deficiency causing poor digestion and excess acid waste in the stomach.